Hey everyone, the world has moved on from XML to JSON, and for good reason. It's a great format for working with data, and one of the best service architectures to get started with is RESTful. In this pro tip, I will introduce the RESTful service architecture. There are five principles your web service must follow for representational state transfer, or REST for short. The first is client-server. Client concerns and server concerns should be separated. The server should manipulate data and serve it up to the client, and the client should then use the data or display it. The second is stateless. The API should have no knowledge of previous requests. This makes RESTful APIs less complex. The API shouldn't keep track of client states because the client should be providing all of the necessary information for a response. Imagine the following conversation. Do you know Emilio Navarro? Yes. How old is he? That second question assumes that person two, the person answering the question, still remembers who Emilio Navarro is. But in RESTful, the conversation would go more like, do you know Emilio Navarro? Yes. How old is Emilio Navarro? Every question or request should have all of the necessary information for the server to respond. Next, caching. Because a REST API must be stateless, the number of requests may increase. To solve this, we use caching. If we go back to the previous conversation example, the second question could be answered by the cache because it would already have the information about Emilio Navarro. So, caching leads to performance gains. Fourth, uniform interface. A uniform interface between components simplifies the architecture. When all of the components follow similar rules, it makes it easier to understand the different components of a system. Some constraints are necessary. Identification of resources, manipulation of resources through representation, self-descriptive messages, meaning data should come with its own media type. It should also use hypermedia as the engine of application state or any content made up of links to text, images, etc. And number five is a layered system. This one refers to the architecture itself, and it's an example of separation of concerns. Imagine you have a web app, and the web app calls an API gateway, which spins up a Lambda. The Lambda and the web app are aware of the API gateway, but not aware of each other. This makes components replaceable and extendable. Now let's throw one more in for good measure. This one's optional though, code on demand. This allows client functionality to be extended by downloading and executing scripts or outputs. Thanks to the principles and simplicity of REST architecture, you can rapidly develop, test, and deploy code. Drop into the comments and share your experiences with the most widely used architecture. Thanks for watching.